Hello, thanks for watching at least the next bunch of videos. I'm just leaving this on a high um that beach. Which is also a campsite. So if I'd been real ambitious and had a tent, I could have stayed there. But it's very nice. It does look very sort of squished in. It is a sort of proper kitchen thing and flush toilets, so that's exciting. There's running water, but it's not drinkable. So you can like boil it and use it and anyway. Oh, there we go. That's where I was. Did go for a little snorkel. There's all these little like weird jelly things. I'm not quite sure what they are. They look like little baby sea slugs I thought at first, but then I'm not quite so sure. They like seem to fall apart into little bitties and I don't know if they're meant to or if that's like the ones that just aren't gonna make it. Um, yeah, really weird. Anyway, that's, probably can't see any of that, but that's the, um, place where I just left. And it is, sorry, 213. Um, so I've got 30 minutes or so, just over 30 minutes to get to the departure point at the next beach, which is similar to this one, I believe, but smaller. It's all sort of cliffside -y here. I don't know if you can see, but that's the trail we're dealing with, but it's very easy. Like it's mostly flat. And I think I chose the shortest, easiest portion of this whole track to do today. <laughs> so it's been very chilled and easy. Um, I spoke to some people that were working at the lodge in Awaroha and <laughs> the one guy was like, oh, do you want a job for two weeks here? You'd live, you'd like, you'd have to live here. And I was like, oh, oh my god. But, um, yeah, I can't do hospital work. It has to be horticulture or viticulture. So, I don't know. That's the over there place. Um, yeah. Anyway. <laughs>